What in the bird box is going on? Jimmy B, Jimmy B, Jimmy B. Now when Chicago traded you, I was with it. I was happy for you. Cause I wanted you to have a shot. I was like, Derrick Rose is gone. Jimmy B is up out of there. Cool. Now the Bulls can start over and Jimmy B can have a chance to go win something. Then you start up a kind of a super team with Minnesota. And I'm like, yeah, they may be able to do something. But then you was like, yo, they soft. And I was like, I believe you are here. I believe you, because Courtney tells he makes weird faces like he just discussed it at the game of basketball. So I believe that. Now we come to the Sixers, and I, and I was like, yeah, he finally going to create another super team, and it's going to be good. He's in Philly. You know what I'm saying? My Philly niggas, they got them hard-ass beards, and they know how to play. Well, not the basketball team. The basketball team don't got them hard-ass beards. The people got them hard-ass beards. I was like, cool, he going to be able to play. He's in the rough city. But now, you got a problem with Brad Brown. And the way he runs it off. And I started to think, damn, is Jimmy B the Bobby Brown of basketball? I mean, damn, do you want everything to be your prerogative? I can kind of understand Jimmy Butler's frustration. Because when I, to me, at least when I'm watching the Sixers, it's kind of like how when I play with some people on 2K, they got like this free flow offense. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know who's in the hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? You got Ben Simmons doing his his Ben Simmons shit and putting up the most useless triple doubles you will ever see in your life. I said it. He put up the most useless triple doubles you will ever see in your life. He worse than Lonzo Ball when it comes to putting up useless triple doubles. I'm just saying. And then you got Jimmy Butler doing his Jimmy Butler. You got Joel Embiid being Joel Embiid. There's no... Everybody just does their own thing. It's just free fall. That's how I felt when I was looking at the Sixers last year. That's how I feel like when I'm looking at them this year. The only difference is now they have a closer than Jimmy Butler. That's it. But I see they just kind of do their own thing. So I can see his frustration. But Jimmy, you got to hold back, my man. You got to hold back, my man. Because you don't want to go to a third team in less than two years. You, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Don't do not do it, man. You don't want to go to another team so quickly. So my, my best advice to you is try to work that shit out. Because you don't want to be the T.O. of basketball. And I love T.O. I do. But you don't want you don't want his reputation, my G. So just chill out, do your thing. I see a frustration with the 76ers. I do. Because they they're um like I said, when you watch them, and this is just my own personal eyes, but I don't know if anybody else has picked up on this. When you watch them, they just kinda do their own thing. Joel and B does his Joel and B thing. Sometimes sometimes he looks like Hurricane the Dream, and sometimes he looks like a fucking nightmare checking up jump shots. You got Ben Simmons. He don't even want to attempt the shot that's five feet away from the basket. So, yeah, I can definitely see a frustration. I also think Jimmy is not a superstar, but he demands superstar attention. You're a great second option. You're not a great first option. So that's the first and foremost. Also, I think the 76ers, should, they should have took the uh, Milwaukee Bucks approach. Giannis can't shoot work for them either, but they got a whole bunch of shooters around him. Now, they got really Benelli, so they can't really do that. And God forbid Embiid to do that. You, you just don't want to do that because you can't depend on that man. He has no reliable jump shot. You don't want to do that. Also, you can't trust a coach whose main job has been just don't fuck it up. And hope to God we get some draft picks. That's just basically what it's been. Since they have Brad Brown, that's been his job. Just, just don't fuck it up. Do what you do, but just don't fuck it up. That's been his job. So do I think he's the right coach to fix this ship? No, I do not. His job is being like I said, I got all times in this video. Trust the process and shut the fuck up. That's been that's been his key. He's not a chip chip caliber coach. Larry it just it is what it is. They're not gonna be busted. They're not gonna be busted. They're not gonna beat any team with any structure in the playoffs. They're, not, they're just not gonna do it. Now do I give them a better shot with Jimmy Butler? Yes. But he's, you you just got that. You're not the guy to call it bullshit. You can't do that. You you better let BM Simmons do it. You better let somebody else do it. But even he can't call out nothing when it comes to offense. I mean, God, who's going to listen to that nigga when it comes to offense? I'm just saying. Also, shout out to uh, Dawkins. I used your uh, highlights for some of this video, so I appreciate it. Hopefully, it does not anger you, and hopefully, you have no problem with that. So thank you. I used you as my backdrop to my Picasso. But uh, this is my last statement. The Sixers have loads of problems. Brett Brown, he's not the coach to fix it. And also, Jimmy, you just got there. You can't call out anything right now. Just duck your head and play back.